How's it going guys and welcome to what I think is going to be a very interesting video. So as you can see, we have got a truck, because uh, we kind of need that, and we have got a bunch of trailers. So we've got ourselves a road train, and uh, we have got six trailers. I mean this thing is huge. It is absolutely freaking massive. And we are hauling some jet engines or aircraft engines. And yeah, I think this is going to be a really, really fun one. I don't know if this is completely doable, uh, but we're definitely going to try. So we need to go through Salt Lake City. We need to go through Ogden. We're sort of passing just on the side of Logan. And then we're heading up into Pocatello, where we're delivering 208 miles away. So the trip should only take us about 3 hours and 50 minutes, but I think it's going to be a bit longer than that. Um, that is in-game time, obviously. Um, but yeah, so we're going to jump into our truck here. Uh, we'll turn the high beams off for now. It is quarter to five in the morning. So um, yeah, we should have some, some daylight soon, which will be nice. And then we can have a real good look at the outside of this absolute beast. Uh, but yeah, so I don't know if this is completely doable, but we're definitely going to find out. And it's really just for a bit of fun. And I think one of the most difficult parts is going to be the entrance here. Because, um, yeah, it's pretty damn tight coming into this pickup location. So that's going to be a thing. Uh, okay, we need to turn left here. Try and take this as wide as I possibly can. There we go. Okay, are we going to make that? Turn left. Oh, that's a lot of trailers. That is a lot of trailers. Okay, we have to turn left already and we're still... We still have trailers coming around the last bend there. And um, we're going around the next one already. So, um, yeah. This is, this is going to be interesting. And like I said, I don't know if it's completely doable. We might have some accidents along the way. Um, so... At the moment, we have got 3% uh, damage on the cargo already. Uh, okay, did we make that? Oh, it's so long. Yeah, still coming, but I think we're good. Um, yeah, so we've got 3% damage on the goods already, on the engines. And that is when I spawned in the sort of trailer. Uh, it glitched into some scenery objects. And I tried to save, as a, save it as quick as I can, but I can't... I can't move quick enough to get it under 3% damage. So we're just going to have to live with the 3% damage, unfortunately. Okay, let's have a look at this. Oh, that is huge. That is massive. Pretty damn heavy as well, actually. Uh, back into first gear. Let's get the revs up. Um, yeah, we're still sort of coming around that last bend there. Which is really, really cool. Uh, so yeah, hopefully we're going to have a very nice, a bright morning and sunrise very soon. It looks like it's sort of starting to light up in the distance there across the mountains. Uh, well, that's not actually mountains. That's some um, mine dumpings. Um, but yeah. So I know I'm on the wrong side of the road, but I need to be. Otherwise, I won't make it around that bend. So um, we, have, we don't need to sleep. So I turned sleep off. So we don't need to do that. And, um, we, we, we do have, we do have, um, what is it called? Fines or traffic offenses. That's what it's called. Uh, traffic offenses. We do have that turned on. So we will know if we hit something or if we do something wrong. All right. This might be a little bit of a problem. So I'm going to go very, very slow. Actually, hang on. Can I skip these gates? Because I think... Uh, I'm gonna do this. Yes. Yes, we can skip the gates over there. Oh, but we're never gonna make that turn. Dang it. Okay. We'll have to go through the booms. Unfortunately. But, um... Yeah, I think the booms are gonna close on the trailers. I don't think they're gonna stay open long enough. So I'm gonna go very, very slowly so we don't get any damage. And I'm gonna try and keep my eye on the boom. And if we do have a problem, then we'll just have to sort of Keep warp right, forward a little bit. Then turn right. So unfortunately, that's just sort of part of it. All right. 
I'm gonna go slowly. Oh, that is a beautiful sunrise, actually, in the distance there. I'm gonna slam on the brakes as soon as... That thing moves. Because I don't want to cause any more damage. Are we going to make it? Oh, we've still got another trailer. And we've got a truck behind us as well. Turn right. Alright, I think we're going to make it. We made it! Alright, beautiful. I did not expect that to stay open, but it did. Okay. Oh, that is a very nice sunrise in the distance there. Beautiful. Alright, so we are turning right over here. And yeah, so this is just sort of a, a one-off video. I might make more of these videos in the future. If you guys enjoy this, then um, let me know. I might, might make some more videos on like six trailer road train trucks. And we might do some different loads and some different type of trailers. Um, but yeah, we'll see how this one goes and then we'll decide um, what we're going to do further along. So this, this has nothing to do with the currently ongoing uh, American Truck Simulator survival series. Um, even though the truck looks very, very similar, um, it's not actually similar. It's a completely different profile. Uh, but yeah, so it's nothing to do with that, but um, if you enjoy this sort of thing and you haven't seen the uh, survival series yet, then make sure to, to check it out. There's a bunch of videos um, available to watch there where we are running a or starting a, well, we started a trucking company, but we are on a realistic economy. So it's very, very difficult. Like thousand mile jobs, you're getting $2,000, $3,000. So it's very difficult to make um, any money on that, but it's really fun. I've been enjoying that a lot. Um, so yeah, if you haven't seen that yet, then make sure to check it out. But yeah, this is something that I just thought about doing, and I just think it's kind of cool. And we actually own these trailers. This is not just a job. We actually own these trailers. That's why um, the, the wheels and everything matches the truck. So when we pull up at a traffic light or something, I'll show you a bit more of the outside. And, um, yeah, it, it actually matches the truck kind of, kind of nicely. So, we might actually pull up up front here. Yeah, let's pull over here for a second, because there is space and this is kind of a nice area. That sun, sunrise is beautiful, though. It really is. Right, uh, let's park up here and I'll show you the outside of the truck real quick. So, um, pause tracker R and let's hit that. Alrighty. Let's go this side. There we go. So that is the truck that we're driving at the moment. That is a freight liner. And um, as you can see, the trailer wheels and everything match up with the truck. So, well, they kind of, almost. Um, they're just a little bit of a different design. I decided to go with a slightly different design uh, compared to what we have on the truck. But yeah, I like them. I, I actually want to change the truck's wheels um, to that. But yeah, so everything sort of matches up, and it's just a, a, a really, really big truck. It's cool. Um, right, so that is the exterior view, and let's head back on the road. I think we need to turn, yeah, we need to turn right up front here. Oh, this is City Hall. Right, so we pulled up to have a look at our truck right in front of City Hall. Good idea. But yeah, so I think it, it kind of matches kind of nicely. Obviously, the wheels are slightly different, but it's sort of the same concept. Like I said, I actually want to change the truck's wheels to what I've got on the trailer. And that's why they're slightly different. Righty, we need to basically head straight and then turn when... There we go. So you basically have to go past the corner and then turn um, to get this thing to go around. Yeah, still going, still going, still going, still going, still going, still going. There we go. We're in business. All right. Um, there we go. Oh, this is really fun, though. I like this. This is this is cool. I mean, I like like triples. I mean, doubles are cool, 
Um, triples are even better. And then you have six trailers. And that's just insane. That is epic. I mean, there's a five trailer version of this as well. Um, which is actually longer. I might try that at some stage. The five trailer version of this is actually longer than what this one is, which is a six trailer one. And um, because the trailers themselves are actually a little bit bigger. Um, right, okay, we're gonna have to hog two lanes here. Definitely. Take the exit left. Alright. Try and make this thing... Or make this corner as flat and open as I possibly can because I don't want to be hitting anything there oh jeez oh jeez oh jeez are we gonna make it oh we made it actually made that quite easily beautiful okay um so yeah the we might actually try the five trailer version at some stage which like I say is a little bit longer and I think it might actually be a bit more difficult to drive because uh, the trailers are bigger, so they're not going to follow as nicely, I don't think. I, don't, I think they're going to be... They're basically going to turn more flat-ish, rather than follow the trailer in front. So, I don't know. We might try that. Anyways, we are allowed to go up to 70 miles an hour right now. and We're on the highway, so we should be okay for, for a little bit. And the scenery around here is beautiful, I'll tell you that much. So at the moment I am using my Track IR head tracking device. Um, so if I'm looking around, that is actually my head turning. And um, yeah, it allows me to sort of see where I'm, well, just see around. Which is kind of cool. Sometimes slightly annoying when you forget it's there. And you try and look at like your keyboard or something. That was a bit of a stutter. Don't know what that's about. Um, but yeah, it's all good. Uh, yeah, so we should see a sort of a nice variation of scenery. Uh, we'll definitely see a bunch of sort of cities like around here. And definitely a bit of nature as well as soon as we get out of this. There won't be a lot of driving where there's not much um, to see because the cities are all kind of close together. Um, in this sort of region. Oh, that's a nice GMC truck. I just don't like the color though. Um, but yeah, we should see a bit of nature. Um, maybe a little bit. We'll see how it goes. I haven't driven this road for quite some time. Honk if you're happy. Um, okay. So, that one. Oh, that's pretty loud. Um, Ogden. Oh yeah, we haven't driven here in this profile yet. That's why I'm unlocking that. Um, I have actually driven this road before. Uh, just not on this profile. But yeah, it's a nice road. And can't remember too much about it. But yeah, I think it's pretty good. I do think we're going to head into... Sort of an 80 mile an hour speed limit. At some stage. We're doing 74 at the moment. So we're actually a little bit over the speed limit. I should probably slow down, but I kind of want to keep the momentum. Because I don't know if there's any, like, steep uphills or anything. And this thing is pretty freaking heavy. Oh, no. Are we going to get pulled in? Dang it. Okay. Way station. That is a thing. All right, we need to get this thing slowed down real quick. Alrighty. There we go. Alright. What do they have to say? Your vehicle is not in perfect technical state. Be more careful next time. Alright. That is obviously from the initial sort of damage. And that was caused on the truck when... Or on the trailer when we spawned it in. So, it's okay. We didn't get a fine, so it's not a big deal. Up into 7th. And 70 miles an hour. Here we go. Keep left. Ooh, 75 now. Nice. Alright, it's going to take us a while to get back up to, back up to speed. That was an unfortunate stop. Uh, one that I didn't really want to make. I was hoping they just let us pass, but... I'm guessing a, a vehicle like this, it would be 
probably a bad idea um, to not pull something in like this and have a quick check around because yeah this is obviously very very illegal um, as far as I know I mean I don't I don't live in the States but I would guess this is pretty damn illegal I think triples is the most that they're allowed to go but I think it's also dependent on length um, and obviously weight and I think it's state dependent as well so I'm not a hundred percent sure I mean I might be completely wrong but I think so okay here we go there we've got some actually some farming going on here by the looks of it I saw some cows back there and I'm trying to oh no oh no 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 dang it we need to turn right here hmm okay detour then dang it what happened what's going on I have no idea I, I couldn't really see what was going on I saw a helicopter though right let's pull into this lane it looks like we are being rerouted around this area here which seems to be sort of a truck stop Keep right. yeah alright right. oh there we go 80 mile an hour speed limit But we're heading back the other direction now, so we might lose that 80 mile an hour again. Dang it. Anyway, it's fine. Um, let's just focus on getting back onto the correct road for now. Right. Clean that side. Seems okay that side. Take this very wide. Uh, that's not the view I was looking for. There we go. Oh, that just looks so cool, though. I love how it follows. Like a worm. Alright, anyways. Let's get back to driving. We don't want to be late. Uh, we're getting some... Well, I don't even know if we can deliver this thing, to be honest. It was almost impossible to pick it up in the first place. So, yeah. Left turn. To deliver it, probably not going to happen, to be honest. Please stay green. Please stay green. Please stay green. Stay green. Stay green. Thank you. All right. Very good. Nice. Okay. Turn left. Good both sides. I have to say, this is quite a big detour. Um, right turn. For just missing one slipway. Well, we didn't miss it. We weren't allowed to take it. We couldn't take it. It was blocked. Is this a cattle grid? Why do they have a cattle grid there? It's a bit weird. Anyways, right. So, I think we're back on the correct road now. Which is good, obviously. Man, this thing is heavy. Alrighty. Oh, there we go. We're still on 80 miles an hour, so that's good. We can um, build up to that. It will definitely take a while. Oh, that scenery, though. It's beautiful. The mountains out there. That actually looks very similar um, to some of the mountain ranges around the area where I grew up. Very nice. Very, very nice. Very green, which I like. Visitor information, one mile. Welcome to Idaho. Fantastic. I have enjoyed Idaho up to now. Idaho has been great. Is this a Humvee coming up in the mirror? I think it's a Humvee. Yeah, it is. 
I don't know. I was... Or is it... Or is that just a Jeep? I don't know. Let's see when it goes past. The front looks like a Humvee. No, that's a Humvee. I don't know. Do you guys call it a Humvee or just a Hummer? Or a Hummer H2? Is that a H2 or H3? I'm not sure. I can't remember. I was never really fond of the... Um, oh, that's nice. Very nice. Oh. Um, yeah, I was never, never a huge fan of, like, the commercialized, um, Humvees. I mean, I like the military ones, like the proper, proper, what are they, H1, I think they are? Um, so the H1s, the, like, proper military ones. They're really, really cool. But, yeah, not a huge fan of the ones that they built sort of for the, for the general public. They're just, I don't know, not not very good looking vehicles at all. I don't know if they drive well or, I don't know, I've never been in one, but yeah, generally don't like them. Alright, so we're definitely uh, sort of on the outskirts, uh, mostly in the middle of nowhere right now. I mean, there doesn't it doesn't look like there's much farming or anything going on around this area. Uh, Jackson. Wyoming was that? I think that was Wyoming. Oh, there's a big truck stop over here. That's cool. We're not going to be doing that. I think we're good on fuel. Uh, we've still got half a tank left and we've only got 40 miles to go. So we should be good. Oh, this is interesting. That rock formation. Please don't move in front of me. Oh, okay. Just, just keep going. These rocks are awesome. I don't think I've actually seen these rocks before. I mean, I'm pretty sure I've driven this road. I might have driven this road in at night time, though. Hmm. Can't remember. Oh, no. Please don't pull us in again. Please, no. Oh, dang it. All right. We've only got 26 miles to go and we get freaking pulled in again. I mean, come on. Yeah, yeah, I know. Alright, here we go. Oh, you guys can just fly through here, that's nice. Oh, this is a nice dump truck. Look at that. That's a pretty big dump truck as well. I mean, that bed is huge. I like dump trucks. I don't know why. They just always look so beefy. Alright, I think we're good. The other truck would have had to stop basically completely to allow for my trailer to get out. Um... But that's okay, not my problem. He was going very, very slow. So, I thought I'd just go for it anyway. Righty. 16 miles to go. And then we'll see if we can actually deliver this thing or not. Okay, we need to get into the next lane. Oh, this guy's got some flatbeds as well. Oh, he's only got one. Shame. Oh no, we need to turn right. Oh crap, okay, I thought that was a bit weird. Um, to just have a left turn, but we actually have to take the slipway. My bad! It's okay though, we're still doing good. Oh, that's nice boats. Those are some really nice boats. Right. Um, clear clear. Oh, jeez, where did you come from? Okay, I can't reverse, and this guy's way too close. I'm not going to be able to make this turn. Oh, there we go. Bit more revs. That guy would just have to wait. Where the hell did those cars come from, though? I checked and there was nothing, like absolutely nothing coming down this entire road and suddenly it's just whoop, straight in front of me. 
Alright. We're good though. We're fine. I love these rock formations. That is so freaking cool. It reminds me of Giant's Causeway in Ireland. That I actually did see. That, that was really cool. I've been there. Um, never been to the States. I really want to go though. Um, but yeah, I've been to Giant's Causeway in Ireland and it's really, really cool. Okay, Pocatello discovered. And um, we're only two miles away from our delivery point. Uh, we'll need to go a little bit slowly though because we do have 25 mile an hour speed limit. Is this a one way? I think this is a one way road by the looks of it because there's a guy driving. Yeah, okay, this is one way. Good. And we're up to 35 miles an hour. Very nice gardens around this area. Very, very nice. Police department. Okay. Keep left. Then Just turn left. Yeah. I, I'm sure they won't have a problem with this trailer going turn past. Left. Just try not look suspicious, I guess. Right, so I think our delivery point is right in there. And the truck has done well. I'm actually very, very impressed. I wasn't sure if the Freightliner was going to be able to do this. Because it's not the most powerful truck in the world. But that's what I kind of like about it. Um, it's a very sort of charming truck. It's obviously an older truck. And again, that's what I like about it. And that's why I use it so much. And that's why I'm driving it in the survival series as well. I really, really, really do like this truck. Okay, we're going to have to... Oh, crap. All right, we're going to have to hit that green. Otherwise, our trailer is going to sit in a railway line. Okay, we got that green just. Because uh, if I had to stop there, our the end of our trailer would have been in a train track. Which is obviously a bad idea. That would be quite a big disaster. Alright. Will we be able to deliver this thing? Yes or no? I'm gonna go with no. I think we're gonna have to sort of skip delivery. But I'm gonna try. I'm gonna freaking try. But, yeah. We might not be able to do it. I really do like Idaho. Very nice. Beautiful scenery around here. Okay, here we go. No cars coming, so I can go pretty wide here. Oh, there's a car coming now. Dang it. Oh, just missed him. I was not expecting him, but, um, yeah. Okay, why are you stopping there? You really messed up my momentum, but anyways. Building America, Union Pacific. You have reached your destination. Um, right. Uh, let's park up here for a second. Let's go have a quick look where this thing needs to be. Alright, over there. Yeah, okay, so we probably won't be able to park this because um, the end of our trailer is going to be on the other side of the fence. But I'm going to try though. Okay, that's not what I wanted to hit. There we go. Let, let's try. I think I might be able to trick it into thinking that we are in the correct position because I kind of tricked it into thinking we're in the correct position when I got this load in the first place because my truck also needed to be sort of through some scenery. Let's try. Because it seems to be registering the very last trailer. And if that's in position, then it kind of works. Otherwise, we'll just skip it. Alright. So, let's have a look. Um, hit that.
All right, back a bit. I need to be very, very close to this fence. As close as I can possibly be. Uh, it doesn't look like this is going to work, unfortunately. Let's try a bit more. No. Okay. Um, can we skip? Um, does that count? No. Dang it. How do we skip delivery? I don't know how to skip delivery. So, yeah, I don't, I don't think we can um, deliver this load, unfortunately, um, but that's okay. Um, that wasn't really the point of this whole video. Uh, the point of this whole video was to see if we can actually get the load here. Thank goodness that bell stopped, because that is so damn noisy. Um, yeah, so the idea was, can we get this massive trailer, or trailers, um, road train, um, from our pickup point to the delivery point, and apparently, yes, yes, we can. So that is, that is great. That was actually very, very fun. So, uh, yeah, if you guys want to see me do some more of these type of videos and maybe try the five trailer one, uh, which I think will actually be a little bit more difficult, um, and it is slightly longer, then let me know. Um, I will do that. Um, at least I think it's a bit longer. I, I think it is, uh, but I might be wrong. Uh, but yeah, so let me know, and we might try some box trailers or something else. I don't know, some... I don't know. Let me know. Let me know what you guys think I should try and do. Um, but yeah, that's going to be it for today, guys. Oh, that damn bell. Uh, that's going to be it. So that was really fun. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, make sure to smash that like button, and I'll see you all next time.